plastic, they are a synthetic polymer come from crude oil. And they are non-degradable, not like wood or tree or leaf, that if you bury, they will decompose. As plastic is come from crude oil, and so if you bury under the ground, they would not be decomposed. So you will remain in the rubbish tip for many years without breaking up. And this will create, create a lot, a lot of landfilling problem. PHB is, is a type of plastic produced by microorganism. This PHB plastic in physical and mechanical property, they very similar to our normal plastic. What do I mean by that? For example, when you heat this plastic, they will melt. And when you cool it, they will become hard and as solid. And you can mold it into a shape for use. So in many property and the strength, it's just like your normal plastic. But in chemical property, they completely different. What I mean by that, of this plastic, if you bury it under the ground, you you will be after a matter of few weeks, you will be decomposed. It is biodegradable, just like the tree or the leaf that you bury. So they, if you bury, you decompose pretty quickly. And so you help to recycle. And this is an important factor. But that is a drawback. The cost of this production are very high. Because on the process, you have to breed this bacteria and, you, and to grow it. And that is many process. And they all add up to be very costly. And in 1980, that is a breakthrough. The scientists managed to trans, trans, uh, transfer the PHB genes from this bacteria into a fast-growing bacteria, as I show from this picture. And this bacteria, they, are, they grow pretty slowly. But when you transfer it onto a fast-growing bacteria, for example, E. coli. E. coli, they grow very quick. They reproduce at, at a matter of an hour and you will you quickly reproduce. And if you transfer the genes with this plastic producing genes onto the, the descendant, they will all producing plastic. So this tr successful cloning and transfer into E. coli, this common bacteria, and you help to reproduce a lot quicker and which help to reduce the cost of production. But can it be as cheap as plastic still? Um, no way, it still, it still are expensive to produce when you compare with, um, the, compare with crude oil. And the use of it, they we use it for some disposable product, like the bottle, and that is, you have to recycle many, um, they will have a very short life. So, and like for packaging bottle, some bags, and some packaging for medical hospital supply, they are, they use it for, uh, for this recyclable plastic. And, this is an important breakthrough because in the future, the main problem of plastic is not how to de develop a better plastic or more strong or with strength, but more is when this plastic after use, how you're going to be recycled and decomposed so that you can re regrow, um, you can reuse it again. And this becomes the main concern for the community.